Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Another method of factorization is by using identities. Let us state those identities. Our first identity is that a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Second identity is a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. Third identity is a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. And fourth identity is x plus a into x plus b is equal to x square plus a plus b times x plus a b. Please read the question on the slide. We have to factorize x square plus 8x plus 16. Let us see. Can we use the common factor method to solve this question? Clearly, there is no common factor in the whole algebraic expression. So, common factor method cannot be used. Next, let us see if we can use regrouping method. In the first and the second term, we can take out x common. But then there is no fourth term to combine the third term with. That means we cannot use regrouping method. So now let us move on to identity method. We see that all the terms are positive. Also we have x square. We have 16. That can be written as 4 whole square. So let us see if we can use our identity a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. We write x square plus 8x plus 16 as x whole square plus 4 whole square. That means we have a as x and b as 4. Now let us try to find out 2ab. If that 2ab is same as 8x then half the work is done. So without seeing the question let us try to find 2ab. We have 2 a as x and b as 4. So this will change to x whole square plus 8x plus 4 whole square. This means that the identity is valid for our question. And now it's time to apply the identity. Instead of a square plus 2ab plus b square, we can write a plus b whole square. So our a is x and b is 4 whole square. And we get, get the answer that x plus 4 is the factor of x square plus 8x plus 16. Please read the question on the slide. Factorize 4y square minus 12y plus 9. Let us try to use our identity a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. We can write our question as 2y whole square plus 3 whole square. 
then our a is equal to 2y and b is equal to 3. Now if we write minus 2 into 2y into 3 we get we get 2y whole square minus 2 to the 4, 4 3 is a 12y plus 3 whole square which is same as our question. Hence, we can use the identity and write it as a minus b that is same as 2y minus 3 whole square. And hence, 2y minus 3 is a factor of 4y square minus 12y plus 9. You should have noticed that we are basically checking whether our question is comparable to the right side of the identity. Only then we can apply a minus b whole square at this stage. So that's why we take just two terms from our question which can be made perfect square and try to compare it with the identity. Let us read the question on the slide. Factorize 49p square minus 36. This can be written as 7p whole square minus 6 whole square. It is easy to identify that we can use a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b which is one of our identities. Hence, applying this identity, we will get 7p minus 6 into 7p plus 6 as the required factors of 49p square minus 36.